how to create beautiful scroll animations using React 3 Fiber. Today we will see how to create scroll animations using JSAP and 3JS. As you might have noticed, the 3D model compared to my other tutorials looks very good. And this is because Thais prepared it for us. Hi everyone! You can find her social links in the description below. Now let's jump to the tutorial. Let's start by creating our project using Yarn Create Vit. Select React JavaScript, Yarn Dev to run the project, OK, our React app is created. Now let's add 3.js. Yarn add 3, React 3 Dry, and React 3 Fiber. Let's do some cleaning. Change the title of the app to R3F scrolling animation. Remove everything into app.css. And on root, let's make it full screen and add a gradient found on grabian.com. Let's clean index.css and remove everything. Go to the app, remove everything too. Let's return a canvas from React 3 Fiber and inside render a component named experience. We create a folder named components and inside create an experience.jsx file. Let's create our component and return a mesh containing a box geometry and a mesh normal material. Let's add orbit controls from dry to be able to move the camera. Go back to the app and import the experience component pressing control space. Now we can see a cube and can rotate the camera around. But we have white borders due to the default margin. Go to index.css and add to body and HTML margin 0 and padding 0. It's not here anymore. Now let's talk about the 3D model made by Thais. It contains the three floors that we will animate. They are into three separate meshes so we can have easily the control of them. I will include both the GLB and Blender file on the repository if ever you want to modify it. The lights and shadows are baked into a texture to have this great result. And if you modify the model, you will need to rebake it. By the way, if you think this video is helpful, please hit the like button to make it more visible to other developers. Thank you a lot. Okay, go to public, add a folder named models and paste the GLB file inside. Now in the terminal, we use npx, gltf, jsx, and our model to generate a React component with the definition of its mesh. Let's go to the generated file and copy everything. Create a new file in components we will name office.jsx. Paste the component, rename model to office, and fix the path adding dot slash models to use gltf and preload. OK, now in our experience, we remove our cube and add our office component. We can see our office, but it's completely dark. To fix it, we can simply add an ambient light with an intensity of 1. As the light and shadows are baked into the texture, it's already looking perfect. Now let's move to the scroll effects. Let's wrap our office component with scroll controls with 3 page. It means we expect to scroll three times the height of the screen. If we try to scroll, it's zooming the camera. We can disable the zoom on the orbit controls. And now we can see our scroll bar moving on the right. To have control over our animation, we are using the JSAP library. Let's add a reference to our main group. And inside a use layout effect, let's create our timeline that we will store into a reference. Now let's define the timeline animation two method over the group position, we want it to last two seconds, and at the end of the two seconds, we want the group to be completely down as we are moving the object and not the camera. To be completely down, as we are moving the object and not the camera, we have to go the opposite way. Let's declare our floor height and the numbers of floors we have. With use scroll, we can get the current scroll of our page, and in use frame, let's seek our timeline to the current scroll. Now if we scroll, the office is correctly animated. Let's change the camera field of view and position to get closer by default. Perfect. Now let's animate our floors. Let's wrap the library and attic in groups and move the position of the mesh to the group. It will ease our rotation later. 
Now let's wrap our mesh in another group to store reference of it and declare them into library ref and attic ref. Now in our use frame, let's animate them using our JSAP timeline. This time, as they are already at the final correct position, we will use from to animate them to the current position. Now we can see the attic is going from the up. Let's animate it on the z-axis too. We set 1.5 at the second parameter to trigger the animation only from 1.5 seconds to 2, the duration of our timeline. Perfect. Now let's rotate the library on the y-axis. We use mat.py as rotation are using radians. Perfect. Let's animate the attic as well. Now with the same principle, let's animate our whole group to make some room for the UI later. We also change its default position. Perfect. Now let's jump to the UI. We start by importing Tailwind following the documentation and import fonts from Google Fonts by adding them to the index.css and the Tailwind config. Now let's create an overlay component to test Tailwind is working. Add the overlay next to the office in the scroll container. But we have an error. It's because we can't put directly HTML into the canvas. We need to wrap it into a scroll element with the HTML props. Now we can see our text. Let's create a section component for each page. The important class is hScreen to take the whole height of the screen. Because we define three pages, we define three sections. The rest is up to your tastes. It scrolls accordingly, but the width is too small. Let's wrap everything into a full screen with div. Let's add a prop to our section to be able to position the second one on the right. Perfect. Now we will animate the opacity. With use scroll, we get the scroll percentage from 0 to 1. We'll store the opacity of each section with use state. And in use frame, we will use scroll.range for a scroll from 0 to 1 into one third of the screen, scroll.curve to go from 0 to 1 to 0, and scroll.range from 2 thirds during 1 third. I recommend you to try and read the documentation. Let's add a prop to our section to pass the opacity. We can see that the opacity changes to make our items appear and disappear. Thanks for watching, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to ask them in the comments or by joining the Wawa Sensei community on Discord. If it's not already the case, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to check the bell to not miss the upcoming great tutorials. See you soon, bye bye.